Hi, everyone. Whether you are working in the web-based app or you've downloaded the desktop app for Teams, one of the best ways to improve workflow in your classroom is by creating, keeping track of, and reviewing assignments in a class team. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to create assignments in your classroom team. All right, so here I am in the general channel of my demo class team. I'm currently inside the conversations tab, but in order to create and review assignments, I will click here on the assignments tab. Now keep in mind that this assignments tab is only found in the general channel of your class team. So let's click on that assignments tab. Inside the assignments tab, I see a list of previously created assignments organized by their due date. Note that I can leave this as a list or I can change the view by clicking on this tile here into a weekly schedule. Again, in the weekly schedule, the assignments will be posted on their due date. Let's just switch back to that list view in addition to the due date, at a quick glance, I can see the title of the assignment, how many students received the assignment, and how many turned it in. To view more details, including any attached materials, I just click on the individual assignment. To go back to my list of assignments, I just click this back button up here in the top left corner. So to create a new assignment, simply click the new assignment button here in the top right below the tabs bar. Here you will be able to enter in all of the details for the assignment. To begin, notice under assign to, this assignment is set to be assigned to this class only. If I click on this box, I can choose additional classes. This is ideal if I happen to teach more than one Social Studies 8 class. Please note, if you are assigning this particular assignment to more than one class, you do have to assign it to all students. But if I leave this set to assign to only this particular class, I can then decide if I want to post the assignment to the whole class, so all students, or I can click on this box and choose to give it to select individuals or groups of students. I just have to click on this box where it says all students, and then I can either type the name of the individual students, or I can select one or more students from the class list below. Being able to tailor assignments by students is perfect for differentiating in your class. If you are working with ELL, accommodated or adapted students, you can, for example, give one assignment to the majority of the class and then create another assignment for those students working on an accommodated or ELL friendly assignment. This can also be helpful when assigning group projects. Since you can attach templates for students to complete, you could create an assignment for each group of students. Once you've selected the student or left this set for all students to receive the assignment, you must enter a title for the assignment. So let's go ahead and call this chapter five, review questions. Now notice that once you enter the title, this assignment is saved as a draft. Keep in mind that only you, the teacher, can see this draft. It's not posted for your students yet. Below the title is an instructions box. Here you can either enter a set of instructions or you can choose to leave this box empty. Let's say you have a set of instructions uh, completed in a document. You can attach that set of instructions by clicking 
ad resource. And we'll talk about ad resources in just a moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and enter just a couple of simple instructions for my students. Okay, let's take a look at adding resources. So adding resources, let's just click this button. It allows you to add a variety of content. For example, you could add a set of notes or an article for students to review before completing the assignment. Or you could add a specific template you wish students to fill out and submit as their assignment. When you click Add Resources, you'll notice that you can attach files from your OneDrive. You can even attach a page from your collaboration space or content library of your class notebook. You can even add links to websites uh, or YouTube videos that you wish uh, students to explore while they're creating or completing their assignment. You can even upload content from your device. Notice that if you click new file, you can create a blank Word, PowerPoint, or Excel document that you want students to complete their work in. I'm going to go ahead and click on OneDrive because I want to attach a set of class notes um, that I want students to read before completing the assignment. I'm also going to attach a set of questions that I would like them to complete. All right, once these two resources have loaded, I'm going to adjust their sharing permissions. Let's start here with the chapter five notes. I can click on this drop down arrow and change this permission to students can't edit. I want to set it with students can't edit because I only want them to be able to view this resource as they complete their work. With regards to the questions, however, I will click on the drop down and I will select students edit their own copy. By selecting this permission, when I post this assignment, Teams will make a copy of this set of questions for each student receiving the assignment. Students will then be able to edit the document and answer their questions right on the copy they receive. Okay, we have just a few more details to finalize. We need to add a due date and a time due. So let's click on the calendar in the due date box. And we're going to say that this assignment is due on the 22nd of June. And I'm going to leave this set to 11.59 p.m. because I want the students to have the entire day to turn in their assignment. You can even choose to schedule to assign later. By turning this on, this lets us delay the posting of the assignment until a date and time that we set. This can be very handy if you're planning ahead, say on a prep or on a Friday, getting ready for the following week. You don't wanna post the assignment right at that moment. So instead, you can now schedule when the assignments will be posted to your students in your class team. Now, I actually want to post this assignment immediately. So instead of scheduling a date and clicking schedule, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And then I'm gonna make a few more adjustments. I'm going to turn on late turn in allowed. Currently it's set to no. So in other words, teams would not be accepting late assignments, but I want teams to accept any late assignments. So we'll just turn that on. Note that if you're adding content in the add resources from your class notebook, you have to allow late turn in. In other words, this feature must be turned on. I also want to be able to mark this assignment in Teams. So I'm going to turn on points. This assignment is going to be out of 35 points. So I will just type that number into the box below points. All right, once you've looked over the assignment and you're ready to assign it to the class, 
or schedule it to be posted at a later date. If you're scheduling to assign at a later date, you would press the schedule button. Again, I'm posting this immediately. So instead, I'll click the assign button here in the top row. Keep in mind that this entire time that you've been working on the details for this assignment, Teams has been saving the assignment as a draft. When an assignment is saved as a draft, it's only visible to the teacher, not the students. Once again, since I'm ready to post this assignment, I'm going to go ahead and click Assign. Notice that this assignment now appears in my list of assignments in the Assignments tab. But if I switch over to Conversations, let's click the Conversations tab, you'll notice that that assignment has also been posted in the Conversations tab for you and your students. This is one way that your students can access the assignment. The other way is through Assignments. You might have also noticed that I received a pop-up notification. You and your students will receive notifications in Teams once an assignment has been created and posted. And if your students or you have the Teams app on your mobile device, whether it be an Android or an iOS device, you will get a notification as well on your device.